Hey there. Today I'll be showing you the new boring system called eBore. The eBore boring system covers a boring range from 6 to 1,020 millimeters. All tools come with through the tool coolant. With a hole accuracy of up to IT6, hole cylindricity of up to 5 microns, and position of up to 5 microns, this system works great in any material. Ebor Universal covers a boring range from 6 to 152 millimeters. It all starts with the Ebor Universal boring head. For the smallest holes to bore, use it either with the steel boring bars, heavy metal boring bars, or carbide boring bars for greater L to D ratios. For the next larger diameter range, use the extension or mount the insert holder straight to the Ebor Universal boring head. For holes up to 152 millimeters, use the coolant connector and add the bridge with the insert holders and counterweights. Then, we got the eBore Fine Boring Tool, covering a boring range from 20 to 205 millimeters. It's this cutting unit and the insert holder. That's it. Next is the eBore Bridge Tool. There is a small and a large version, covering a boring range from 200 to 1,020 millimeters. We got the large bridge as the base. The extenders provide the large range this tool can cover. You can use the bridge tools for roughing applications by mounting the insert holders to the extenders, or for finishing applications by mounting the slide with the insert holder and the counterweight to the extenders. And finally, the twin cutter. This roughing solution is available with a KM back end or as a straight shank tool. Just mount the insert holder on top and it's ready to machine. Except for the bridge tools, which connect to the regular shell mill adapters, all other tools come with a KM connection. If you don't have a KM spindle, that's no problem. These adapters connect the eBore tools to any other standard spindle, whether it's HSK, any steep taper style, PSC, and KM4X. Let's talk about the adjustment of the tools. That's my favorite part because it's all about the eBore digital display. That is one smart display working with all three fine boring tools as part of this system. Ebor Universal Tool, Ebor Fine Boring Tool, and Ebor Bridge Tools. It comes in this nice little box with a battery inside. Let's take the battery, put it in the battery compartment, push the compartment in the display. Okay, now snapping it onto the tool, and by the push of a button, it's ready to work. Before I show you how it works, let's pay attention to the laser etching here. If you want to adjust the tool manually without the digital display, you can. One complete 360 degree turn of the scale represents a 0.5 millimeter adjustment in diameter. One scale mark on the rotating scale represents 0.01 millimeters adjustment in diameter. One vernier scale mark represents 0.002 millimeters adjustment in diameter. Using the digital display, memorizing all the adjustments is just not necessary. And worrying about the backlash and all the guessing that comes with the backlash is a thing of the past. And any diameter read adjustments can be made on the spindle in the machine. So let's see how this works. Pushing the button once, it is already turned on and already measuring the adjustment of the tool. Pushing the button twice zeroes out the display. I'll start moving the dial. See how the tool gets adjusted by increments of two microns? I'll do it again, this time counterclockwise. See how it is reversing everything? Positive values mean diameter increase, negative values mean diameter decrease. Let's do this one more time. Pay attention when I go from clockwise to counterclockwise. That's when the backlash kicks in. Without the eBoard digital display, you wouldn't know if and how much you are adjusting. The eBoard digital display shows you exactly what's happening. And right now, even though I am moving the dial, nothing is happening. Okay, if you forget to take the eBoard digital display off the tool before starting the machine, no worries. It means no harm to either the machine operator, the machine, or the component you're working on. When the spindle starts running, the centrifugal forces separate the display from the tool automatically. 
This all happens at very low speed, so you can pick up the display from the chip pan. Thanks for checking out the new Ebor boring system. Please like this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more videos just like this one.